So this week we've got um, Master Splinter from the Ninja Turtles, the rat, the the giant rat, um, for those of you who don't know, versus <laughs> Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to start. I'm actually going to pass this one to Dorico to start. Oh. But the one thing that I'll say is I said this right before we started recording. I said that Splinter and Mr. Miyagi are actually the same exact person that live in two different universes. Mm-hmm. Got it. And yeah, I I mean I'll second that. Like I mean they have the same facial hair, basically. If you <laughs> if if Mr. Miyagi was like a rat, if that, Splinter had a Splinter. little less fur, yeah, they would look yeah, very they'd similar. be identical. <laughs> That's probably true. I mean, is the who would win in the week in a fight? Is it yes. always a fight? Oh yes, so it's they're, a, they're, yeah, they're it's a fight. I, I do. I I keep up on the podcast, but not as much as I should. Mm-hmm. Sorry to admit, but I'm not ashamed or offended. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so these two are toe to toe on a karate mat. They're on a karate. That's I think the only would, way for I think it'd have to, to be Splinter. I think Splinter would have to be Mr. Miyagi. Okay. Early calling it out. <clears throat> well, Splinter definitely. I think Splinter kept more up to date with his own skill than Miyagi did mm-hmm. because in training the Ninja Turtles. He had to do a lot there. Miyagi obviously was the uh, repairman for Daniel uh, LaRusso's apartment building. He uh, he took some time off from training, but he was able to... He still caught the fly. But I think he <laughs> caught. He still caught the fly. At the end of the day, I he still caught the fly. And, hold on, yeah. hold on, because I'm, I'm trying there, to... I'm trying to yeah. So the thing is, we what we see from Miyagi's ability to train... Daniel is that his his uh his his karate his martial arts intelligence his martial arts IQ is off the charts he's got a really great mm-hmm. understanding of the mechanics um and I think the practice of karate and so he really understand Miyagi's coming at it almost from like a, a, techni- a technical uh, side. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, a little philosophical in there. Splinter is definitely still in the, the... physical. The physical. Yeah, I think that's what he's more focused on. I'm not sure he has as much of a technical mind about it. See, it's funny that you say this because I actually disagree with both of those. I think that they're both on a very level playing field in the sense that when they, you're like, you know, that t- that their type of person, that wise, like... They're very in tune with their body, and that's why they're good at that stuff, right? Like, they kind of, not to sound cheesy, but they try to feel that energy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's why they're always doing a lot of this Meditating and a lot of that. And whatnot. Yeah, and, and be, you know, finding their inner peace and being very aware of their own consciousness and, and in these unbelievably sane mental states, right? I think that that's how they both are. Splinter, maybe a little less than Mr. Miyagi, but I think that where Splinter's... Um, more up to date training comes in. It fills in for maybe Miyagi's lack of current training, but still in tune with that complete mental state that they both have. So, because when when you try to look at and say that Miyagi's more technical, whereas Splinter's more physical, I don't know if I agree with that because. Correct me if I'm wrong as to why you're thinking this, but in my mind, if I were to think that Miyagi was more technical, it would be because of how he trains the Karate Kid, right? With these different, extremely technical movements. Mm -hmm. But I think that in that situation, the reason that Miyagi trained the kid that... What's that? I don't even know the Daniel. Daniel. The reason that he trained Daniel that way is because it was almost like a time constraint. Like, Daniel was kind of getting his ass kicked and really wanted to fight. Mm-hmm. Miyagi didn't necessarily have the time to get him in tune with that spirit as much. And that's why – but but he kind of got there himself, you know, kind of through, through the heart train. again. And that's why even though he, you know, he got the legs swept, he was able to, to come in there and, and, and get it done. I kind of all do agree that I have to lean – towards Mr. Miyagi 
The only reason I'll say that is because, and I guess it kind of does, I guess I may, might have spoke too soon on the technical aspect, but Splinter and Mr. Miyagi, very similar people. Miyagi, however, in a very short amount of time, was able to get Daniel so disciplined. Whereas, as all as although oh, it was Splinter's goal, the, uh, the, 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 the Ninja Turtles were not as disciplined That's true. as they should have been. They were quite messy. But Splinter raised them like children. But they were Which is different children. than strictly sure. being a teacher. I understand right. that. Right, that's true, because he was also their dad, their and <clears throat> they also were around each other the whole time. Mm. Daniel was on. It was just him. Yeah. So maybe there's a little, you know, some kind of brotherly mm. energy, I guess, in there. Um, I think it would have to be split. I just think it would be Splinter <laughs> because he's a he's a big rat. He's just, <laughs> which is a factor. And because, I, and well, I, if you think about it, rats are small. Right. Normal <laughs> rats are small. Yeah. Like sub splinter. I follow you. Um <laughs> so if you think about like like you know the one episode of Rick and Morty when Rick falls into the yeah. vat as the pickle and has yeah. to fight the rats. Yeah. Like rats he obviously are... had like the, yeah, the technology rat, and the right. means to but like if you shrunk Mr. Miyagi down, would he be able to fight off like a rat with like the strength and stuff like that? See, but I think of, this is my I I this was like theory. just a regular rat. Yeah. This was a big, also mental dilemma that I was having that I'm glad got brought up. Was rats in general? I feel like kind of have a very savage mentality, mm-hmm. a cutthroat mentality, and uh-huh. that's something that we talk about a lot in the Hood Winner Week because people that have that mentality are often able to win, even if they're maybe not as skilled. Mm-hmm. It's the will because, to win. Yeah. Because well, and not only will, but the willingness to get dirty kind of mm-hmm. right it's, to it's, do uh, think to, to flirt with the line i don't think that that's the way that splinter operates i agree i think that splinter's very black and white i think that in a fight between him and mr miyagi it would be nothing but respect from each party yeah but that's fair i think i don't know but he is still a giant rat <laughs> yeah i mean he does have a tail that's true. So that's He's, something. Uh, yeah, yeah, take into that account. might be the deciding factor. <laughs> it's the it's tail. The fifth limb. Because he ha- <laughs> because you see it, he has control over the tail. Yeah, of he course. uses his tail in his spectrum of, Sweep of the fighting leg. skill. Sweep the leg with the so, tail. But that, that would actually, not affect Miyagi. You know He's what? obviously but ready for I that. But I will say that that actually may sell me on Splinter because here's the other thing I thought about too was Splinter Splinter as an animated rat though has what I would say human characteristics as far as arms and legs go yeah maybe not legs but arms yeah he's like a humanoid yeah so I mean if, if he was just a large version of a rat he wouldn't have the ability to to get up in Miyagi's grill, mm. but because he is has so many human characteristics, I don't think that that becomes a factor. But when you add in the tail, I actually think I was I actually think that that point flipped my eventual winner, and I think that I'm gonna go with Splinter because of the tail. I think that the fight is that close. That the tail gives him just enough of an Splinter advantage. Splinter by a tail. Splinter, Splinter by, by a, a tail. fucking tail. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Miyagi would, oh, though, man. obviously be able to compensate for that going in. Like, he'd be very aware of it. I know he'd be aware, but... Would he be able to stop it? Because no person has a tail. I guess maybe but, one but, person but with I, the but tail. But I'm, I'm saying, though, think of it, if you, when you think of it as a fifth limb, yeah. it's a huge advantage. That's true. I think mm. if you just had, like, a third arm just growing out of your chest... Yeah, almost Jesus an ability Christ. to distract. To, if, to to I I wouldn't even. You could use it in two ways. You could you know because when you're fighting somebody in a karate style, like a hand to hand combat, like not necessarily fist fight. There's a lot of you know blocking with the arms and the legs and stuff like that. When you throw in that tail, not only does he have the ability to maybe get that tail around and. and and block when he's not in a position that a regular human would be able to block, but he can also use that tail to strike in a position where he would not usually be able to strike. That's that, and and in such a fair fight, I think that takes the cake. The one thing that I wanted to mention more about who these two guys are 
is that Splinter... He's obviously a dad to the turtles, but he does seem to keep himself at a bit of a distance. Like, he does seem to... He does his own thing. He Well, he... He never lets them forget that he is, in fact, their teacher. He doesn't... Well, he doesn't He's micromanage also their dad. He doesn't micromanage them. Sure, but he also... I mean, that's true. Miyagi... He went through a lot. His, yeah, with the whole... With with, his wife. Yeah, that's a thing. Miyagi's wife and child died in an American internment camp for the Japanese while Miyagi was fighting in World War II. I think that there is something to be... I, he would be able to go to a gear that not a lot of people would be able to go to. See, but that being said, at the end of the day, with it being so close, it's splinter by a tail. It has to be. <laughs> splinter by a tail. It has splinter to be splinter by, by, a, by a, a tail. And we're going to lock in splinter by a tail, but I just have one last point to make towards that. Yeah. I don't disagree that Miyagi has some demons in there, but... You, Splinter hasn't had an easy life either. He had to raise those turtles and convince them that their only way to live was <laughs> in the shadows, which is a difficult thing to do. I mean, I know it's like, right. but it's a very difficult thing to do to know that these kids just Our want to go out yeah. and, and live a regular life of sorts, and he had to rein them in. That's not an easy task either. That's true. Being a single dad mm-hmm. in a sewer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Raising so we're going to lock in Splinter by a tail. Splinter by a tail. Um, vote on oh. that on Instagram. Pop in on the clubhouse. clubhouse. Yeah, we didn't do it last week. But we'll Couldn't do, do the it clubhouse. last week. We're gonna do it this week. This four week, p.m. Four, four p.m. on Friday. Yep. Get in there. Check that out. Um, people have been having some fun in there. 